Good afternoon. Welcome back. It is Sunday, June 11th, 2023. We are here with birthdays and events. And we got a few events and several birthdays. So uh, we're going to get rolling on this. So on this day, 1989, Ricky Rudd wins the inaugural cup race at Sears Point. Um, of course, that's where the Cup Series is racing at today. So I think it's rather interesting that even though the track's been moved around on the schedule, that today it finds itself back in its original home. So Ricky Rudd won the first career race, and this would be the last win, no, I'm sorry, second to last win for Kenny Bernstein because he would win with Brett Bodine at Wilkesboro in 1990. On the state, 1994 at Myrtle Beach, Elton Sawyer wins his first ever career Bush Series race. Uh, this was a long wait coming because there were several races in the past that Elton could have won. Just uh, always fell up short a little bit. <clears throat> On this day in 1995, one of our birthday boys, Jean Alacy, wins the uh, Canadian Grand Prix at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Don't know how many times in F1 racing that a driver has won on their birthday. This is really the first one that I've noticed since we've been doing this series. I could have overlooked some, but nonetheless. Um, on this day in 1999 at Michigan in the IROC race, Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Dale Earnhardt Jr. had that awesome finish. Uh, go back and check that one out. Uh, you, you know, it, it was a really, really great finish. And, you know, you didn't know who was going to win that one. And it was literally decided by inches. <clears throat> 2006 in the Pocono race, Denny Hamlin wins his first Career Cup Series race as a rookie. Of course, he did win the Bud Shootout back in February, but that was an exhibition race and not counting towards the points or wins. In our final event, 2017, Ryan Blaney also at Pocono wins his first ever Cup Series race. Can't believe it's been that long since Ryan won his first race. Of course, he just recently won the World Six Coke 600. Still call it the World 600, so you know where I'm at as a race fan. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize, just uh, getting things together here. Of course, we mentioned John Alacy. He was born on this date, 1964. Former longtime Formula One driver. No, I remember him driving for Ferrari and a couple other teams. He just kind of hopped around. Also born on this day, 1939, Sir Jackie Stewart, former world driving champion, multiple Formula One races, later became a commentator for ABC Wide World of Sports in their racing broadcast, regardless if it was Indy, NASCAR, F1, or whatever, brought a wealth of knowledge. So let's see here, looks like, in the uh, and uh, also born on this day in 2002, current Truck Series rookie, Raja Karuth, I don't have any cards of him, but hoping to get some hero cards of him this summer when the trucks are at IRP. So anyway, uh, let's start with some other random birthdays. I don't have an official card of this driver, but he does appear on a card. Born on this date in 2002, same day as Raja Kruth, Mr. Lane Riggs. And here he is on an 06 VIP with his dad, Scott Riggs. So pretty cool. And I don't know why my camera's jumping like that. The picture, like I said, I've been having issues with the focus. But Lane Riggs as a young boy on the front of that card with his dad. Uh, born on the state, 1947, former uh, Trans Am driver, part-time IndyCar driver, Mr. Tom Gloy. This card's in horrible shape. It's the only one that I could find of him. This would have been when he was running the Indy 500 back in, that would have been, I guess, 83, 84, yeah, 1984. As you see, he ran an Indy, the Meadowlands, in Cleveland. <clears throat> he was a very strong uh, road racer. He did run in the 1985 IROC series and had a famous flip on the front straightaway at Daytona, where while the car was sliding upside down, you visually see him hit the brakes. So, like, that wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have really helped him there, but that was his instinct. <clears throat> Excuse me. Born on this date in 1950, another IndyCar veteran. Dwayne Poncho Carter. So this would have been in 1985 when he was running the uh, Gallus car, the Coors Light car. He took over for Alan Sir Jr. Here's a couple more later in his career. 1985, he was the pole sitter in Indianapolis. Actually, this is his picture from 86. Because it's uh, 85, he's in the Valvoline car. But in 85, he was the pole sitter in Indianapolis. Had a, did not take the lead on the first lap, and I believe the car lost its engine after about 8 or 10 laps. Born on this date, 1976, 
It's a three-time Truck Series champion. Don't ask me to tell you what years, because I will not be able to remember. Mr. Matt Crafton. Of course, he started with Thor Sport. Then he went to uh, KHI for a few years. Then he went back to Thor Sport. And if uh, you see a bright yellow truck on the track, it's probably going to be Matt Crafton. And then uh, here we have a picture. I try to pull these because they actually had pictures of some of the trucks. So there's the original Menards Thor Sport truck. And there's another, I guess that's a better view of it. I did not like that paint job at all. I thought that this Menards on the front, you could, could barely read it. They needed to do something about that. Then there's a nice look at the khi good wrench truck and then another look i mean again same paint scheme for a couple years thought he would win there but he didn't and then there's the only one i have the of the current bright yellow truck and something that thor sport does do better than any other team i see in any of the top three series is the way they play the manufacturers they uh <clears throat> whichever one gets them the best deal that's the way they go to and I think that's what's kept them, af I don't want to say kept them afloat for so long, but has really helped them as a team have longevity because it's not like, oh, well, we have to stick with this, this manufacturer and the manufacturer just pushes them further down the pecking order so they become uncompetitive. And I think they've, they've mastered the art of, of using the manufacturer to their advantage. <clears throat> and our final birthday, born on this day in 1997... Of course, he was named after his uncle, who passed away in a crash a few months before he was born. John Hunter Nemechek. Of course, John started out with his dad's truck team, Nimco. You see the Nimco patch right there. Then he kind of hopped around a little bit, was able to get on the Ganassi Xfinity Series team. And they had some random rotating sponsors. There you see he was with GMS, another random GMS different uh, uh the chevy shop chevy parts or whatever that was again with gms racing he went up to cup for front row for a cup of coffee had a few top tens didn't really do that great there then he got went back down to the trucks where he ran um who did he drive for in the trucks was it front row i think he might have drove for front row in the trucks i'm trying to see if i can see the patch here but i'm not seeing anything i see a ford patch but might have been David. I, I can't remember. Yeah, it was. Might have been. I don't know. Could have been trucks. Went to uh, KBM for a year or so. Then when KBM went to Chevy this year, he went to Gibbs. Of course, this isn't the Gibbs one. This again is a TRD truck series patch course this year. He's having a really, really good series in the Xfinity series. And uh, I think I think he will be in the championship four. I think him, Austin Hill, and I don't know who the other two. But John Hunter's first appearance on a card was way back in 2006 with his dad, Joe Nemechek. So that's John Hunter's first appearance. So I thought it was kind of funny that two of our birthdays today had drivers having their first appearance on a card with their uh, father. So that's really, really cool. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, uh, getting ready to have that race at Sears Point today. Looking forward to that. <clears throat> I got... Um, Pretty big flea market find video for tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to do the cards or the die casts first, because I'll probably have to split, I will have to split them up because there's a lot to cover, because we went to three or four different flea markets, and plus some cars I picked up at the uh, at the uh, concession at the speed drum on Friday night, and got some pretty pretty cool stuff. So want to be able to share that with you, and uh, just got to figure out which order I want to do it in. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we will see you tomorrow.